Kid or what? <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> if you're looking for your grandma's house, you're too late. It's been repossessed. <laughs> funny, this funny. And I thought this was supposed to be an express sandwich service. Oh, it is. Lee arrives two hours late and we all get to express ourselves. Oi, <laughs> what time do you call this? Yeah, sorry about that. I couldn't find a can opener. Well, you lost your car keys again. <laughs> What's this? Uh, it's tuna and tomato. And this? Uh, tuna cucumber. This? Uh, salad supreme. Looks like tuna to me. <laughs> I'll take these three. How much? Two seventy. Charge it to my account. Oh, <laughs> I must speak to you. Yeah, Matt, look, tuna sandwiches, mate, very good for the brain. Lee, please. <laughs> look, if no one asks, you haven't seen me. My optician told me I was short, so I did not blame. <laughs> At first, I thought it was a dream. But then, I saw the red light on my answer phone, played by the tape, and there it was, the voice of doom. Oh, one of those heavy breather calls, was it? <sighs> yeah, I used to get them. You did? Yeah, till I got the girlfriend to give up the smoking. Oh. <laughs> What is this all about? I've never seen you in such a state. My sister Florence. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, oh, I knew those words were straight fear into your hearts. She's not here again, is she? The, the, she and that awful little husband of hers. Yes, and the other Matthew. No, but she's come to fetch me home to the Gambia. What? Oh. Apparently, I've got to go and help my father run his business. She could be here in a minute. Good, I'll help you pack. <laughs> to go. That's what you've got to hide me. No. Shirley. Certainly not. After the last time telling her and her husband this was your shop and we were your grateful employees, no. But I thought we sorted that one out, hadn't you, Desmond? I won't be too sure about that, man. But how am I going to avoid her? I mean, her London base is in my house. Desmond, Shirley, please. I wish to seek asylum on the grounds of persecution. <laughs> Matthew. I know your sister Florence is a domineering, loudmouth so and so who thinks she's superior to most other beings. Mm -hmm. But that's no reason for you to hide. Let me have Sean's room while no, he's away. No. But this is the first place she's going to look. Well, what can I do? Go home and hide under your bed. <laughs> why don't you try the youth hostel? Him? He wouldn't qualify. So why not? <laughs> well, how much are you willing to pay for a room? You know a place? As a matter of fact, I do. And they're only charging ten pounds a night. Oh, where would that be for? Why? My place. <laughs> Not be serious. Well, you need a place to hide. I need to pay for these sandwiches. Take it or leave it. Well, there's an old African saying: the man who doesn't have any place to rest doesn't turn his nose up at the rubbish heap. Well, as we said to old Africans, beggars can't be choosers. I can't see Florence Strips in the wrong Kong's estate looking for you. Yes, you're right. I need a deposit, twenty pounds, no checks. <laughs> Come on, Matt. I'll give you a lift, mate. Look. I need to stop off and pick up a few belongings. Walk by. I presume you don't have a garlic press. A what? <laughs> uh, a garlic? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give that flat share 24 hours. Any <laughs> takers, eh? Oh, yeah, that's a pleasure. <laughs> I brought you some tea. I didn't want any. Well, I brought you some anyway. <laughs> and there was only one old used tea bag left. I hope you didn't throw it away. <laughs> well, I did. So there. <laughs> um, what are you having for dinner? Fish fingers. Is that the best you can do? No, but that's the best you're going to get. <laughs> Maybe we should get a takeaway. Will they take you away too? <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. I haven't opened the door as yet. <laughs> it could be your sister. <laughs> Right. She has been known to do strange impersonations. I will come to see. I am my. Oh, what's next, Lou? <laughs> supplies, supplies. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, we can't stop. We just pop by to give you these. Yeah, emergency rations to see you through the siege. Well, how very kind of you. You must have read my mind. Why is it out in paperback, man? Who's paying for all of this? It's on the house, Uncle P. Mm, from the house? Well, yeah, we had a fridge raid. Yeah, Mum and Dad donated the veg and I sacrificed my yoghurt. Are there any biscuits? That's a little fugitive, aren't you? <laughs> Look, I better put these in the fridge before they go off. It's like a furnace in here, isn't it? Mm, must be all the friction, eh, Uncle P? <laughs> yeah. Well, have there been any sightings of my sister Florence? No sign of the enemy yet. <laughs> Mr Grant, why 
why is it so warm in here? You're getting ready for global warming. Mm. <laughs> it's no wonder you can't afford to pay your bills. Really? You should try to think more economically. Why? <laughs> now that you're here, I don't have to think more economically. You can afford to pay any bill they care to send me. <laughs> Listen, if you need anything else, just give us a call, all right? Thanks for having us then, Mr. Grant. It's all right, Louise. It was a pleasure. I'm sorry I couldn't offer you a cup of tea, but this man threw away my tea bag. <laughs> I was actually going to have another one. You could have asked. I can see trouble brewing here. Mm. Come on. Matthew, don't squeeze the toothpaste in the middle. <laughs> I wish my telephone wasn't disconnected. Why? I would call that sister of yours and tell her that you're here. <laughs> Bye. If and when Florence puts in an appearance, you can deal with it. I'm no good at telling lies. Oh, I don't know, my sweet. You convinced that woman that she needed two bottles of herbal shampoo when what she really needed was a hair transplant. <laughs> Florence should be a pushover. Well, if she comes here and starts making trouble, that's exactly what I'm going to do to her. What? Push her over. <laughs> Stop shopping me. <laughs> Is she here? Is she here? No. 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 So come in, you ungrateful student. <laughs> What should it be, gentlemen? Pistols or swords? Yes, Will you please explain to your friend Paul Pye uh -uh. that it is just common courtesy to allow one's guests first use of the bathroom in the morning? And Shirley, will you please explain to your friend Matthew that hot water doesn't grow on trees? <laughs> That's the sort of nonsense I've had to listen to all night. You could have gone out. Hand do go out, Paul Pye. Prisoners do not. <laughs> Math, math, quick. Your sister just pulled up my cab. Shit. Beagle has landed. I'm asleep. Get your over it, mate. Over it. No, no, no. Go upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A surprise. Greeting, Shirley. And to you, Desmond. Oh, hello, Florence. Back so soon. Soon? It's been over a year, Desmond. Oh, yeah. It seems like only yesterday. <laughs> not a lot of activity for a Friday afternoon, Desmond. That's true, but then this is a barber shop, not a sports center. Uh, can I get you anything? Tea, coffee? Some tea would be nice. Yeah. And a few biscuits. But not those nasty ones that look as if they've been used as a swatch for fun. <laughs> Gloria, why me? I'll come with you. Check for flies. Oh. <laughs> no sugar for me, little girl. I'm sweet enough already, wouldn't you think? <laughs> now that you have the refreshments organized, I have to confess that this is not a social visit. I have come to fetch my brother Matthew to take him back home with me to the Gambia. Whoa. You see, my father is feeling his age, and he wishes for Matthew to come and help him run the family business. So, being a responsible and caring daughter, I felt it my duty to see to it that my father's wishes are granted. No sooner had he uttered the words than I hopped on a plane. And there I am. How nice. <laughs> but the question is, where is my brother? I presume you know his whereabouts? Well, of course we do. He's gone on holiday. <laughs> gone on holiday? Where to? He didn't say exactly, but I think he may have gone... Uh, on a cruise. To Portugal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on a cruise. That place in Algarve. Mm. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to have taken much with him. I have visited his flat. All his suitcases are still there. That's because he's gone on a survival course. A what? To Portugal? No, in the Outer Hebrides. But I thought you said Portugal. Yes, I did. He forgot. Portugal was cancelled? Yes, the travel agent overbooked, so they sent him on a survival course instead. To <laughs> the Outer Hebrides? Yeah. Yes. In yeah. Scotland? Yeah. 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 Hmm. A little out of character for someone so used to fine wines and table napkins and so entirely remote from the mysteries of haggis. Well, <laughs> yes. He has also forgotten to cancel his milk, which makes me very suspicious. You see, for all his shortcomings, my brother is a very orderly man. Still, not to worry, I am a very determined daughter. I'm sure I'll chuck him down the <laughs> Ambrose, Jr. <laughs> Michael, isn't it? Mrs. McFarlane, nice to see you again. Um, how's your husband, Matthew? The, the other Matthew. Is he, um... He's on an important business trip in Dusseldorf. But he's fine, fine. Good, good. Well, it's been lovely talking to you. Can't stop. Um, <laughs> just the books, actually. Father, where are they? Uh, upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, 
blast! She been waiting for a bus? Get up, get up! <laughs> get up, get up! Thank you, Gloria. Yes, thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> this must be a West Indian costume. Chocolate biscuits with tea. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we didn't have anything else. Well, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't I know you? Who, me? Yes. I have an excellent memory for names. It's steak pie, isn't it? <laughs> pork with a P. Pork pie. Oh, yes. I knew it had something to do with dead animals. <laughs> oh, where are the books? I can't find them anywhere. Ah, Michael. One moment, please. I don't suppose you have seen my brother, Matthew? Yes, he's just in the bathroom. He'll be down <laughs> That's a surprise! What do you mean? What is all this talk about the Outer Hebrides and survival haggis? Are you hiding from me? Don't you know your father wants you to come home and... Yes. If you can bear to close that mouth of yours for just a few seconds, I have something to say. I'm sure you'll be delighted to know that I've decided to accept father's offer. And I will be returning home. For good. What? <laughs> What can I say? Look, I didn't know anything about it. Nobody told me you were hiding in the bathroom. I was not hiding, Michael. I was lying low. Yes, but I'm sorry to blow your cover, OK? Look, if there's anything I can do to help... Well, it's done now, so shall we get down to business? Yes. The matter of transferring the rents from your property to your foreign accounts in the Gambia. I've just got some forms for you to sign. Just... Matthew, why can't you tell your folks that you don't want to return home to run the business? Sometimes it is better to go with the flow. Ah, uh, flow. <laughs> meaning flow. Exactly. And one can hardly appeal to her emotional side. My sister, you have noticed, has all the sensitivity of a Sherman tank. <laughs> yes, but Matthew, she's not the one that wants you home. I mean, surely you can ring your father and say you have other commitments here. No. You see, in the Gambia... In the Gambia. Look, I know things are different there, Matthew, but you're using it as an excuse for some pretty weak-kneed, yellow-bellied behaviour. May I remind you, Michael, that if it went for you, I wouldn't be going home at all. Your tea, sir. And yours, Matthew. Everything all right, sir? I thought I heard raised voices. <laughs> yes, everything's fine, thank you, Mary. <laughs> a mug? Well, you're not leaving us. And I thought it a little unfair that Matthew should drink his last drop of English tea from a mug. You know... We're all going to miss you, Matthew, but I hope you'll be taking away some fond memories of us all. <laughs> well, some of us, at least. <laughs> you know, I know we've only met on a few occasions, but I feel we could have become very close well, friends. Well, that's enough, I... Mandy. I was only trying to say farewell. You mean you won't be coming to the shop this evening? No. Why? Is there something going on? Oh, well, my kind and thoughtful friends have organised a farewell party. Didn't Michael tell you? No, he didn't, Matthew. It slipped my mind. Well, may I take this opportunity to extend a personal invitation to you, Mandy? Uh, we'd love to come. <laughs> We're going to miss him, you know. Ooh. Your brother, he's sort of grown on us. Yes, I can imagine. It must be like the watch I had on my little finger. Can you see? Just there it was. Then one day, I gave it a rub, and poof, it just fell off. <laughs> I'm going to try it on my husband but Matthew's body on next. <laughs> well, I hope you're not going to go away and forget about us, Matthew. I don't suppose you'll give me a chance. <laughs> you'll be wanting to visit for holidays, I expect. Yeah, hey, you bet. I always knew I had a soft spot for Matthew. And as this is a farewell, I'm going to give you two farewell kisses. Mm. Stingy, you can have four from me. Oh. <laughs> and Sean said to give you this. Oh, thank you. It's, um, Anthony, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
You're uh, Michael's Mandy, aren't you? No, I'm not Michael's anything, actually. <laughs> I mean, I work for him, but I'm not his. Are you anybody? I beg your pardon. <laughs> Drink. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Everybody, uh, please turn off the music. Oh. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to witness the end of what has been a long and arduous journey. A journey undertaken by our good friend Machu here through the hallowed halls of academia. Echo what? Dean, you know, Oxbridge and all that. Uh... Oh, Oxbridge, yeah, it's on a Piccadilly line, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking. Thank you, Florence. It's been 16 years since Matthew came into this shop to ask for the directions to the local library. And um, ever since then, he's been a regular visitor to this shop. He came and he sat and he sat. <laughs> Some people might say that his time here has been wasted, but I would dispute that. Time spent imparting knowledge and wisdom can never be wasted. And for us, getting to meet someone from the fatherland has been of immense value. Yes. Yeah. Now we can all say we know at least one old African saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matthew, my dear friend, uh, Michael, I would like you to accept this gift as a small token of our affection and admiration. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's an old African saying. <laughs> A word to the wise is sufficient, but for pork pie's benefit, I'll add a few more. <laughs> but first of all, I'd like to give thanks to Desmond and Shirley for organizing yeah. this wonderful yeah. party. Yeah. Yeah. This evening has shown me what good, kind, and generous friends I've made during my brief stay in the United Kingdom. And I've Oh, resolved... come on, Matt, shut up and open up your prison room. <laughs> <laughs> I was forgetting. Um, we'd like you to look at it as a commemorative of many of the close oh. shaves you've had in our shop. <laughs> a very strange present. They do realize we have electricity in the Gambia, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley and Desmond. Now, everybody, let's boogie! Yeah. I would like to say a few words oh. in regards to the sudden and untimely departure of my good friend Matthew. It's all right, Paul Pie. We ain't gonna bury him, you know. <laughs> when I first met Matthew, I thought he was just a pompous, arrogant African student. But over the years, I've come to realize he is something else, a good friend. I mean, who else would sit next to me with his newspaper blocking my view and accuse me of reading his over his shoulder? <laughs> and who else would be quoting African proverbs in my ears at all hours? Fill in the crossword when it's his turn to play the domino and squeeze the toothpaste in the middle like he did the other night. <laughs> but who else would sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. That's what we... uh, step this way, Matthew. Uh, we have another present for you from Pork Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Matt sat here. It's only temporary until I can afford your full name. Oh, no! I like it left as it is, Pork Pie, really. I don't know what to say, except that Oh, I'm... all right, save that till later, because you... <laughs> you got one more present to come, mate. More? <laughs> yeah, well, we couldn't let you go without giving you a farewell song, could we? Oh. Oh, no, 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 give us a chance, yeah, I can sing. You're having a laugh, are not you? Come on, then, go on. <laughs> Goodbye, Matthew, goodbye oh. to you! Maybe I can't sing, but here are three lovely young ladies who can. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome, all the way from South Africa, Progress! Goodbye, dear friend, farewell to you. We will miss you, dear Matthew. Amba gashle, well forward to. We wish you well, wherever you go. May your life be blessed forever. Cause you look so lovely, sitting there. We're so lucky to have you as a friend. Farewell to you, Kaweli Kulu. May the Lord bless you. 
done so much of damage. But it wasn't his head, there's so much as the force with which Florence hurled him at it. But just because he tried to goose her? <sighs> Poor Matthew, eh? Fancy having a sister like that. Here you are, Popeye. I made you some tea. Well, thank you, Shirley. Oh, I wasn't thinking, you know, it's just automatic tea for two. Oh, hey, listen, Shirley, if there's a cup of that going back... Help then. yourself. Oh. Hello! What do you mean you didn't have to go? Yes, I demand an explanation. I got to be having a throwing farewell party to people who come back before they even gone. I'm sure Matthew can explain better. If you just calm down, Desmond. Well, you see, I was waiting for Sister Florence, all packed and ready to go when the phone rang. It was her, Florence. <laughs> she had phoned the Gambia to tell my father that her mission had been accomplished and she was bringing me home. And apparently, my father said, what the devil for? And she said, to help you run the business as you requested, Dada. And he said, my son, Matthew, help run the business? Are you out of your head, you stupid woman? <laughs> I met your husband, my son-in-law, the other Matthew. What? <laughs> so, you don't have to go after all? No! So we're stuck with you here again? It would seem so. Right. <laughs> what are you doing, Pope, right? I'm going to call that engraver and get a refund on this plaque. <laughs> Imagine me, a pensioner, spending money on this student who doesn't have the decency to go and stay gone. <laughs> Is he going to be like this for the next 16 years? Yes. <laughs> Welcome back, Matthew. Huh? <laughs> 